Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video and another analysis. I'm always looking for opportunity as you may know, so today I am showing you Alibaba. To me it's a stock that I've been watching for quite some time. Um, I think it's a strong brand, strong company uh, with a lot of potential in the future, so let's, uh, that's why I added it on my watch list. As you can see it made a really nice move last year. and like with all things that go up so aggressively it has to come down and move into a correction I always trade the Bollinger Bands but for now let's start off with the Fibonacci because I want to see this was the previous hi the highest high and this was the lowest low over here so let's draw that on um, I'm our, this is it so that being said let's go into the daily chart for a moment as you can see we had a retracement to all the way to the 38.2 um, FIB level so is there room to the downside yes there is this could have been an opportunity as well uh, well we we've seen it move lower 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 for a while now uh, as you may see let's remove this one and get back to those Bollinger Bands because <coughs> on a daily it gives us some interesting information like I said we we the first thing I always look at is is of course the price action high highs lower lows well we've seen that lower lows so uh, we have been in a downtrend recently um, then I start to look for clues for in this case I see that there is divergence on the RSI which is interesting because we see that the market was making lower lows but the RSI was already showing uh, some upward momentum uh, and then of course um, today we see uh, yesterday actually we see a strong move through the moving average on the daily and then we even see a gap opening on the day between yesterday and today um, the day is not over so we never know how this will end up but for now it's trading very strongly on the outside of the Bollinger Bands we moved away from the moving average pretty convincing um, and we see some RSI divergence so this to me is very interesting let's go back to the weekly for a minute here as you can see <coughs> this is a interesting level because price bounced over here it was also the 38.2 Fibonacci level as you may remember but it acted as resistance over here over here it's, it's and, and over here it was the first support so this is a pretty obvious level why price stalled over here um, we are seeing something else that's over here we see that price struggled in the past here it acted this was two times a resistance area and here it is a support area and right now we are moving back into this area so I cannot look into the future and I should be a little bit careful what I say uh, when I see these things but to me this is like a um, well a large percentage uh, level where we are going to see a pullback mm. um, go back to the daily so what I would be looking for ideally is is a pullback actually because I am not trading this I'm too late I would have entered over here but I'm too late uh, I wanted to see it go back a little bit uh, let's say around uh, 91 or 92 some th something around that area mm. and um, that would be a great place to enter and of I think my the, the moving average will be a area where I place my stop and if you want to use a mental stop and you really believe in a straight, I would advise to keep that 86 level in mind as an ultimate stop because once this breaks I see more downside potential. <coughs> so that being said, we drew in a couple of, of support resistances. I, s I see here one as well. Quick look at the market and I see another one here as well that acted as a neckline or a had a shoulders pattern like you can see here one two three uh, a second head maybe and the shoulder and well okay you know what I mean so this is a very interesting 
picture when we go to the four hour chart we also see the divergence of course also we see a massive break of the moving average and we are moving up strongly right now um, I can, can give to you more obvious this is a great trade and of course we want to see this level is an important level because this was a previous high um, I think we pull back from this a little bit move through this level uh, test this one move back a little bit again and then I think we can see a nice rally back all the way to the 110 level <coughs> so talking about risk reward which is also interesting to see like I said I'm waiting for a pullback I don't want to take this trade right away I think we are now wit witnessing a possible break of this trend line which is interesting let's zoom in the hour yes we are definitely struggling <laughs> with that level interesting but for now let's keep our heads cool I don't like to pick a top and try to trade it and uh, have to sit out and move back over here um, all right, risk reward I would like to see a certain pullback and I'm thinking about entering over here and I think my stop should be around here and it's that is where the moving average will be at at that time <coughs> and uh, you can ride it oh, to, to this level you can ride it to this level you can ride it all the way to this level maybe you can put in a couple of trades it's, uh, it's all possible that's, that's up to you that's that the decision I can make um, just as decisions on how big lot, uh, lot sizes or, or some questions like that sorry guys I can teach you a lot but those are the, the things I cannot tell other people with other accounts and other rules and everything and of course you can ride it all the way back to the previous highs and and beyond so you can trade this different in different ways but um, I think we have a lot of very nice opportunity in this one so um, well let's not let's that that's it for today I think we have a very strong strong picture here a good story and uh, I would advise you to uh, judge for yourself where do you want to take the straight and where do you set your stop and where do you want to take profit I think uh, either way there's a scenario for you to make a lot of money guys good luck happy trading and uh, I'm happy to see you uh, in the next video for the next opportunity bye